And we are back here on River City Live, live from the Donna Marathon Expo happening at the fairgrounds. With me right now, Amanda Napolitano is the executive director of the Donna Foundation. And we all know Donna Deegan, or at least I say we do. <laughs> but, you know, I have a lot of friends, Donna, that are here from not just out of town, but out of the country, all the way from the U.K. Yep. They know about the Donna. But tell for those who don't know, a little bit about your story and how this whole, this whole thing happened. Well, this was really all born out of my own personal situation with breast cancer, right? I was diagnosed when I was 38 years old, um, small lump, very treatable, thought I'd be done, one and done, right? Two years later, re-diagnosed. Um, and, uh, and, and after that second diagnosis, I started talking to women. I started a blog and started talking to women who were really having to make choices between food and medicine. And so I thought, you know, that's a crazy thing to have to do. Why don't I do something with this megaphone attached to my mouth? Because I was on the air at First Coast News back then. And I thought, you know, let's, let's, let's start running and asking people to run. Well, that ended up meeting Jeff Galloway, challenged me to, to, to get a group together to, to run a marathon. And that raised almost $100,000 the first year we did it running somebody else's race. So I said, hey, why not start our own marathon? There's no marathon out there to help underserved folks with breast cancer or to help with breast cancer research. And the rest is history. We've got people that come in from every state and a number of countries every year to help us end this disease. And so at the end of the day, I just think it's an example of how you can turn an adversity, you know, into something that really turns out to be one of the best things in your life if you allow it to happen. And, and that's what all these folks have done for me. <laughs> it's amazing. I know any time you walk into a room, people gravitate towards you. They want to share their stories. I did that right away when I saw you to tell you about my friend. And Amanda, let me ask you this question because people watching my, right now might not know that they can still participate, whether it's just come out to the beach or even come to the expo. Can we have the hours and then tell us about how late you can actually register? You bet. So registration uh, remains open all the way through Saturday at 3 o'clock online. Go to breastcancermarathon.com. Um, uh, registration for our Saturday events will close when the race starts, Saturday morning. Which so, is a 5K. Which is a 5K and a three-person 15K relay. Okay. So super fun on Saturday as well as the marathon and half marathon on Sunday. Uh, the expo at the fairgrounds opens in about 20 minutes, noon, and we'll be here today until 6 o'clock. And then in the morning, packet pickup for the 5K and 15K opens at 7 a.m. And then the expo opens at 8. And we'll be here till 4 o'clock. So no excuses, still plenty of time. Come on out, get registered, and, and help us finish breast cancer. And I know someone watching right now is saying, oh, sure, I wasn't planning to run a marathon. Let me just go ahead and sign up. Obviously, we're not suggesting that. There's the there, Donna there's Dash. There's the Donna it's Dash. One mile. One mile. There are, just to be around everybody, it's so uplifting. You've never seen the beach look the way it looks on Donna Day. It's so incredible. And so for that, I feel like our whole city has you to thank for that because we really do come together in town and out at the beach. Well, I feel like I have the whole city to thank, you know, because everybody's really gotten behind it. And, you know, for me, this is a special year, too. You know, it's our 15th anniversary, but it's also 15 years cancer-free for me. Right? So I've got a double celebration this Yay. year. I was, you remember my third diagnosis came right before that inaugural marathon. So I'm just so grateful that I've been cancer-free since then. You know, a lot of angels around, Eden, I'll tell you. It's amazing. A lot of angels wearing pink today, <laughs> yeah. especially. So thanks for taking the time out. Two very busy ladies right now. And uh, I'm going to do some shopping, as I'm sure everybody you, who walks through these stores. I've already been doing Yeah, that. I know. I Donna was early. doing shopping before everything. I guess I guess if the marathon has your name, you're allowed to shop early. You get the pre-sale. Um, but anyway, there's still plenty left, oh, believe yeah. me. Rance.